It's one of my favorite season of the year again. It's a season where we get to share love with family and friends and also bake our traditional yummy fruit cakes. So we are baking a simple traditional fruit cake here and one thing I've learned over the years is that preparing ahead of time to bake your fruit cakes actually makes the work a lot a lot easy and how do you prepare you prepare by soaking up your, your fruits earlier like a day or two days a week a month before you bake your fruit cake so for this recipe we are creaming our butter first we're creaming it for a few minutes before we add our sugar and gradually I'm going to be adding my sugar in gradually then to have that nice texture of my butter as we bake along now fruit cake is a delicacy known all over the world there are different recipes there are different styles which you can make your fruit cake and one of the things that to note is that soaking up your fruits earlier actually makes the work very easy there are different ways you can soak up your fruit i have a recipe where i soak up my fruit and it gives me good results all the time so after creaming my butter and sugar for a while for a few minutes i'm going to be adding in my eggs gradually also so that i can have that fine texture fine look for my butter when i'm done with creamy Another beauty about fruit cake is that it can be kept for a while, you can bake it ahead of time and keep it before it's ready for use. Now you can see our texture, you can see our butter looking very nice and beautiful. So the next thing I'm going to do is to add my homemade mixed spice. There's a link down below where you can also get the recipe of how to make your own homemade mixed spice. I love this uh, concoction very well. <laughs> so I'm going to be adding that into my dry ingredients and mix it together then my fruits which have soaked up earlier looking all plum and juicy I'm sprinkling some a little bit of my flour inside so that by the time I incorporate it into my butter it does not sink to the bottom of the pan that is why you need to coat your fruits with a little bit of your flour before you add it into the butter so uh, mix up I'm going to mix up my um, flour and my mix spices together and the next thing to do is to start to add it into my butter and fold it in gradually another thing i like to do is to add a little bit of brownie or molasses to give my cake that extra flavor extra you no know, beautiful look that's what i do i add a little bit of brownie then i now add in my fruits after incorporating my uh, flour into the butter and continue to fold it in gradually you can see that this recipe is very easy and simple to make there's no stress after getting all your ingredients ready you are good to go before you bake your cakes make sure to line your pan with parchment paper you can line the inside and the sides of your pan and also put place some newspapers on top of your oven rack before you bake now I'm adding a little bit of my juice that I use for soaking my fruits I added it to give it that extra effect on my cake it also helps to add more flavor to your cake batter After folding in, the next thing is to pour it into my pan and then I love to garnish my cakes with some dry fruits, with uh, cherries, with nuts and some other beautiful things on top. So you can go ahead and do that. Except you are allergic to nuts, then you can do away with the nuts and not add them. So there are different types. You can use cashew nuts, you can use almonds, whatever you want, cherries mixed uh, dry fruits like pineapple like oranges you can use it to garnish the top of your fruit uh, your fruit cake to have that extra appealing and aesthetic value to your cake and when it's time to bake your cake make sure to bake at slow to medium heat temperature if you have an oven thermometer that will make a lot of I um, mean good to baking your cake so this goes into the oven I hope you enjoy watching this video. Make sure to like, subscribe to our channel for more and more of this kind of content. Thank you for watching and make sure to make yours too. Thank you.